Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 17th to the 24th of July. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Sagittarius, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. And then what I will do is I will clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first energy you're getting, Sagittarius, is passion. And this is a beautiful energy. You know, passion is the energy of feeling excited, motivated. It's a creative energy. It's an energy where we want to put our time and effort into something. It could be a relationship. It could be a situation. We'll see what this is all about once we get the tarot. Your next message is don't look back. And when we get the energy don't look back, it means you will probably be making or perhaps you have already made this decision about walking away from something. And the message is, don't look back. Don't second guess yourself. And then we have the energy of freedom. And freedom lets us know that you will be releasing out of any energy where you have felt trapped, caged, anything that you feel that was holding you back. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a tarot card for each of our core messages and then I will come back around again and clarify further for deeper insight. So let's see what is coming in for you this week, Sagittarius. What do we have coming in for Sagittarius, please? We have got the Moon card, Page of Cups, and the Fool card. So I'm just going to shift this for now because we are going to start off here and I'm just going to clarify the Moon for you. Right, let's see now what this Moon energy is for Sagittarius, please. Oh, two cards came out there, so I'm going to take them both. We've got the star and we have the nine of wands. Sagittarius, the energy I'm feeling here is that there might be a situation or a relationship where you are feeling a lot of passion. So this could be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. We can be passionate about our friends. It could be a family situation. This could also be you being passionate about what you're doing. If it's your career, if you are starting a new business, it could be that you're passionate about a certain sport or hobby. What I'm seeing is that there has been a period where you have felt very insecure about this energy. So, for example, if you are absolutely passionate about your partner, for a while now, you might have been feeling that this energy has not been reciprocated. Okay, if this was your job that you're absolutely passionate about and you've been putting in the hours and you've been coming up with great ideas and really going the extra mile, but you have not seen any recognition, it makes you feel very insecure. And that's what our moon energy is telling me. Nine of Wands tells me that this has been going on for some time because what I'm seeing is that you actually are starting to get quite worn down from it. And Sagittarius, it makes perfect sense. If you're putting in effort, time, right, and you're really going the distance in whatever this is and it's not being reciprocated, you start to get depleted thinking to yourself, what's going on here? What's happening here? Now, this week, 
we are being told very beautifully with our star energy sitting in between our two insecure depleted energies that this week you're going to be seeing a return on everything you have put in all that passionate fiery energy is going to be seen it's going to be acknowledged and you my dear Sagittarius are going to be able to see your blessings your recognition coming in for everything that you have been doing up until now this is a good energy because all this hard work is going to pay off and you're going to be acknowledged right now we want to see what our don't look back energy is and we have the page of cups right let's see now what the page of cups energy is for Sagittarius please the four of swords Sagittarius I think this week you are going to be hearing some surprising news it probably will come through from an unexpected source and it might even take you aback four of swords is telling me that when you hear this news and it could be anything it even could be to do with the scenario right it could be the breaking through the star energy coming in when the news does come through i do feel with our four of swords energy you're going to just take some time to integrate this news think about it which is very good you're not going to be reactive you're not going to be spontaneous you're going to take time to absorb it and think of your next course of action the message it's sitting under is don't look back so it really gives me the energy that once you hear whatever this is this page of cups energy is coming in with there's no going back it doesn't have to be good news or bad news but it will change something something that will make you move on i have a feeling that this could very well relate to our freedom and full energy so let's move on now and see what this full energy is all about for you so we want to see now what is this full energy for Sagittarius please nine of cups oh Sagittarius what lovely energy this energy of feeling caged stuck blocked right could very well be our moon energy and our nine of wands energy where you have been putting so much energy so much effort and creative energy into something that when you didn't get anything back in return it left you feeling energy of trapped this energy of being in a cage not knowing what to do you felt blocked okay because all your efforts were met with our moon energy making you feel like nine of wands the weary warrior depleted and tired but I do believe that this news that you are going to be hearing, it's going to be that missing piece of the puzzle. That's why I feel you might take some time just to sit with it because it might be quite overwhelming in a good way. Because what we see is that when you hear this news, my gosh, are you out of that cage? You have the energy of the fool. And the Fool and the Nine of Cups combined tells me you are now feeling freer than you have for the longest time. Sagittarius, you are ready to go. You are excited. You are motivated. All this passionate energy has not been in vain. You have never been more ready to take a leap of faith. And Nine of Cups comes through and tells me that what this is for you that piece of news is a wish fulfillment this is something that you have been wishing for and praying for so that you could release out of this energy and begin whatever this is for you no wonder you are being told don't look back Sagittarius there is something wonderful waiting 
when you take that leap into the unknown. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. All right, let's see. What is your spirit animal this week, please? And you have got number two, antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. So the number two is your lucky number. Any combination or variation of the number two, please consider very auspicious. The antelope is your spirit animal. So wherever the antelope comes up, please consider this as well as a blessed sign. And Sagittarius, your message is life is speeding up. This is wonderful to hear because it really lets us know that this moon energy and this nine of wands energy is soon going to be a distant memory as you Sorry about that. So I just want to grab the star. It's going to be a distant memory as soon as you feel that recognition coming in, that acknowledgement, which is going to be blessings in disguise. And it all is going to start with our Page of Cups energy, this key to the door that's going to open all of this up. It looks like a great week, Sagittarius. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.